Hello everyone, Ronix with it, another color grading tutorial on this channel. And, and let me first give you guys a moment to subscribe this channel. I know most of you guys tend to watch and you don't subscribe or support this channel in one way or the other. So let me first pause and give you guys a minute to subscribe to uh, this channel. So anyway, we are not here to look for subscribers. Let's learn about the very second method of how to color grade your images in Photoshop. So the very first method of my pre previous tutorial was about how to color grade your images using the camera raw filter in Photoshop. And this is basically another tutorial of how to color grade your skin tones in Photoshop. And this is not going to include uh, the use of the camera raw filter. So this is basically going to be a truly Photoshop skin tone color grading tutorial. So this is this is what we're going to be doing or color grading uh, this image so i want to cater for those do, who don't have uh, the camera raw filter or plugin installed into their photoshops to also benefit from this color grading series that we are going to be putting up on this channel for a while because i've been doing so many color grading tutorials or i've been doing skin retouching rather and you guys are asking me to do color grading tutorials and yeah this is basically for you guys this is upon your request that i'm doing this color grading tutorial so remember yesterday we dropped a story about how to color grade using uh, the camera filter in photoshop so this is basically uh, only using photoshop so what we're going to be doing we're going to be using the uh, selective color hue and saturation option the vibrance and i think that is basically what we are going to use to color grade this image from uh from looking like this to looking like this i hope you guys can see the difference and as usual like i said or I, like i told you guys yesterday in the tutorial you always have to get a calibrated screen or a calibrated monitor before you can start color grading the reason for that is because you want to get the right colors for your images before or during your color grading process so you want to get the colors right first so you don't want to mess up the images because you may spend a lot of time uh, color grading your image and it is going to be really a wasted effort because you're going to put you're going to be looking at your image looking different on your computer or laptop screen and it is going to be different when you put it on another device or when you post it on uh, social media so i'll show you guys how you can color grade your images and uh, in this tutorial like unlike the yesterday's tutorial i'll show you guys how you're going to export so that you retain those beautiful colors you have embedded into your images so without further ado let me just kick in and i start showing you guys how you can color grade uh, this image if at all you don't have the camera roll plugin in photoshop so let's first of all come right here and we're going to uh, delete what we did for the color grading and i'm also going to delete that layer right there so usually i prefer first of all duplicate the background layer by hitting ctrl or command j on the keyboard yeah and you can as well i'm sorry about uh, the sound if at all you can hear some sound in the back in the background so you can as well uh, drag and drop it to this plus icon to create a duplicate layer so when you do that you'll always have a backup for your color grading so we're going to come right down here and we first of all going to come the hue and saturation so this is the hue and saturation panel right here i hope you guys can uh, see and understand this this is the hsl panel in uh, photoshop basically so you can see we have light lightness is more of uh, the luminous or luminosity you can see what this does it darkens or brightens so lightness is going to work as our uh, luminous in just photoshop so this can be more of a replacement for the camera raw uh, kind of method of color grading skin tone so usually we have the master and when you drop down the master you'll have different or various colors under the master so first of all remember skin tones are part usually contain reds and yellows and we are going to be tackling uh, those uh, colors and we are also going to tackle the greens in the image because 
I will want to reduce on this amount of the green color in the image because it is kind of taking the attention away from uh, the model. So that is what we're going to be doing. First of all, we're going to come and click on the reds in the image because we would like to reduce on the amount of the reds in this very image. So we want to come first of all as uh, the hues and you're going to uh, just turn it up slightly like that to around 8. Then you're going to come right here and you're going to uh, turn down the saturation slightly to around negative 10. Then you're also going to turn down the lightness of uh, the reds like that. So you're just kind of trying to mute the reds in the image. So you can see before and after so far. So right now what we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to come right to the yellows right now. And you're also going to uh, play around with the yellows. So you're just going to click right here on this icon and you can see what the yellow slider does basically. So you don't want to over mess around with the yellow uh, slider. So we're just going to take it towards uh, the greens of the image like that. So let's uh, draw a stop right there. So we would like to reduce on the saturation or the amount of uh, saturation. Uh, in this image. So in order to do that you're going to come the yellows and you're going to reduce on the amount of the saturation in the yellows uh, of this image like this. I hope uh, you're seeing how the image is now starting to uh, get transformed. So you're also going to come to the lightness and you're going to uh, knock it down too like that because uh, we don't want it to be too much. So that's the before and after so far for the color grading process. So you're going to come uh, to the green panel right here and you're going to select the greens. Then you're also going to come to uh, the hue and you're going to hue the greens a little bit. So you can see what this basically does. So depending on the look you're trying to go in for, so you're just going to go with uh, that, that kind of uh, bluish kind of feel. Then you're also going to come to the saturation and you're going to desaturate uh, the greens a little bit to uh, get uh, more attention onto the model. I think this looks good so far. So you're just going to close that. You can as well always come back and correct those settings. So you're going to come right now to the selective color option. So when you se uh, click on selective color, you're going to initially have uh, this as your default. So you'll have uh, the various colors like we had in the hue and saturation we are going to be having all these uh, various colors so you can work with the color selectively so that is why it is called selective color so when you come to the red remember we, we are working with skin tones so if at all uh, you move with this slider and turn it uh, towards the right hand you see it is going to add uh, some kind of gr uh, greenish kind of feel to the image and when you turn it towards the left hand side you will see what it uh, gets for your image so we are just going to leave uh, that at zero then since we are working with reds we want to reduce on the amount of the magentas uh, in the image like that you are going to go with negative nine and you are going to uh, reduce on the amount of yellows too in the reds then you are going to come right to the yellows. This is the second option and you are going to uh, reduce on the amount of uh, yellows in this very image like this. Then you are also going to reduce on the amount of uh, the magentas in the yellows. I think this looks fine and you are going to come to the science and you are going to kind of play around with the science and you are going to uh, leave it at around 13. So I think you can see we are trying to go in for that look right now. So you're going to come right under the greens and you're going to uh, play around with the greens. I think you're going to go with the magenta side, negative 18. Then, so it is all about your tests and preference as a photographer or color grader. I don't know if that exists anyway. So you're just going to come to uh, the magentas like this so i would like to intensify the magentas in the image because i want to emphasize her hair more so i'm going to come and just intensify on the magentas like this so you can see how the hair is getting changed and 
I'm just going to turn up as the blacks in the magenta like that. So I'm going to come to the vibrance and saturation and I'm going to play around with that too. So I'm going to come right there and I'm going to uh, knock down the vibrance in the image and I'm also going to turn down the saturation slightly. So I'm just going to turn it down slightly. I think I overtook this overboard so I'm going to go with a negative 8. I think you guys can see what uh, this has done. So that's the before, after. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to come right back to the HSO panel and I'm going to play around with this uh, once again. So these are what we did initially before. So if at all I come to the reds, you can see we still have the settings the way they were looking. So we're just going to play around with this to see that they give us the best out of the image. Then you're going, going to come to the yellows and you're also going to uh, play around with the yellows to get a more pleasant image out of this, like this. So I'm going to intensify this too. Okay, well, let me reduce on the saturation. I think this uh, looks kind of too yellow for my liking. I'm just going to uh, reduce on the saturation even more of the yellows. And I'm also going to come back to the reds and I'm going to knock down uh, the saturation of uh, the reds even more. And I feel like my image really has so many greens in it. So I'm going to come to the greens and I'm going to uh, reduce the saturation of uh, the greens even more and drop down on the lightness of uh, the greens in this image like that i think uh, this is getting to look uh, more beautiful to me so we are going to select the vibrance option and you're going to come right back here sorry command z to undo so we are going to come uh, right under this other option and you're going to choose the color balance option i don't know why i'm failing to uh, get the color balance So this is basically what uh, you have to do. So this is our color balance. So when you come to the color balance, you have to play around with these sliders. So let me first see on my mid-tones. So I want to add some little bit of uh, magentas. I uh, reduce on the amount of the greens in the image like this to negative 8. Then I would like to add some a uh, little bit of uh, reds too the image I'm going to go with plus one then I want to add so remember we are working with the midtones so I want to add a little bit of blues to the image like that so I'm going to come to uh, the highlights of the image before I can go to the shadows then I feel like um, I, I have to add a little bit of uh, magentas to uh, my highlights to I get a more pleasant uh, skin tone for this image. I think that looks fine. And I'm going to come to the shadows and I'm going to uh, add a little bit of uh, greens to uh, my... Sh uh, let me add a little bit of magentas to uh, my shadows because I'm trying to go in for uh, that beautiful and more natural skin tone. I think this uh, is fine. So what I'm going to do basically, I'm going to come right back to the selective color option because i don't play around with these options so it can be if at all you feel your image is fine the way it looks right now you can just stop right here so you can come right back to uh, the greens right here and you're going to uh, reduce on the amount of uh, yellows in the greens like that and knock it down then you're also going to come right to uh, the magentas and you can knock them down too so it depends on what you're trying to go in for. Then you can as well intensify the uh, blacks in the greens. I think this is getting to look more and more amazing. So depending on what you're going in for, you can work with uh, one of these two separate and you can work with everything as a whole or combine the various methods. So you're going to come right back to uh, the reds and you're going to 
uh, play around with this so you're just going to knock this uh, slightly up to around four then you're going to come to the magentas and you're going to uh, reduce on the magentas in the image like that and you're going to intensify on the blacks in uh, the image so this is basically more of what you're going to go in as a skin retoucher or color, uh, person color grading so we can come to the blacks and you're going to uh, also intensify on the amount of the black in the blacks like that to give uh, this image more clarity then you're going to knock down the yellows so you can see when you turn this up you get greens and this side you get uh, more blues into your image so we just want to get uh, a little bit of that then you're going to uh, leave this at around neck plus one so you can see the image is getting uh, to look more and more uh, beautiful so what you're going to do you're going to uh, reduce on the warmth or the warm tones in the image and before we can do that let's first of all learn about the other method we are going to use for color grading this very image and that is uh, by simply coming right down here and creating a black and white layer so click on that and to, it is going to turn the whole image into black and white so when you come and change the blending mode to uh, maybe multiply and you close this black and white uh, layer and just come and change the opacity by turning it down like that you can see that the images are really getting to uh, look more nice and awesome so what we're going to do we're going to come right back here and create a second black and white layer and this time around we just want to desaturate the image so create the black and white layer and now come to the opacity and uh, come and just uh, reduce on uh, the opacity of uh, the black and white layer like this I think uh, this uh, looks amazing so what I'm going to do basically I'm going to come right to this uh, brightness and contrast and I'm going to just increase on the brightness of uh, the image remember we are not going to be using camera raw so you just have to pump up uh, the, the brightness you can see uh, the before and after the image was really dark for my liking and just come and knock up uh, the contrast of uh, the image so this is uh, really getting to look more and more beautiful and amazing so what we are going to do we are going to put uh, all these in a group by hitting the shift key ho holding down the shift key and selecting the lowermost layer and hitting command or control G on the keyboard so we can simply name this uh, color grid and if at all you feel like uh, what you did you wanted to save everything that you did for the color grading I think I'm going to create a new video for you guys of how to create your lights and I think that is going to be leading you guys to uh, my skin tone lights uh, the pack is going to be of around uh, five lights that are going to be used to uh, color grade medium and dark skin complexion models so this has been a story about how to color grade your images just in Photoshop without using camera raw or any other plugin in just Photoshop so that was the image uh, before after before after you can see what we just did uh, to color grade this image to look this beautiful dramatic and more uh, pleasing to the eyes and I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another tutorial on this channel. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.